welcome to you all. My name is John Campfer. I'm Chief Executive of the Creative Industries Federation. Where else to begin than in Manchester, which has really blazed a trail in terms of um, civic organization, entrepreneurialism, and bringing the arts and the creative industries right at the heart of civic life. For somebody who's worked in the creative industries all their career, and in technology for the last 15 years, it suddenly feels like all of our worlds are colliding into one place where suddenly digital's getting the place in the creative sphere that it kind of deserves. And uh, Manchester's finally getting the spotlight it deserves for its creative industries and for its kind of role in the UK economy. How are we going to get the creative industries to be worth 10% of the economy? What is the industrial strategy we need for the creative industries. We need to preserve some of the brilliant things we already have, like public service broadcasting, which puts three billion pounds a year into original programming, which expresses our culture and is part of our national conversation. It's really quite difficult sometimes having this conversation about culture, because culture has started to morph into two different contexts. There's the culture within the context of the arts and culture, and there's the culture in terms of our societies and social upbringings. And I think that the sooner we can marry those two things to their best advantage, the better we will be. We do it quite well in Manchester, we can still do it better. And I think it's one of the areas where we actually lead in Manchester. Good evening. Uh, does the panel believe that there is still a perception that London is the creative capital and a CV must for top talent? What does the panel think we can collectively do now to create opportunities and pathways so that more artists and creative people can continue to be based here in Greater Manchester but work nationally or internationally. And it's all about delegation, delegation of powers and delegation of money. It's about devolution. And Manchester is ahead of here, although there's more devolution to come in Manchester, obviously, and there will be. And you are going to show other cities how to do it because you've got leadership here, both in arts, culture, and the creative industries, and in your politics. The UK has suffered from, from geography, that the point of entry into the country has been London. And, but in the digital online world, where more business is done digitally, then the point of entry is, is now national. In terms of the talent retention question, which I have to say, you know, over the last 20 years, it's come up a lot in Manchester. If we're all sensible about it and we share best practice and we build a really, really vibrant shared ecology of opportunity here, then people will be able to start here and continue here and end here. If you don't want your young people to go away, and I speak as someone who works with an organisation that is entirely focused on young people, start respecting them and engaging them in the decision making for the area that they're in. Because if they're, if they're invested in it, they'll stay with it. Excellent discussions we've had tonight, drawing together so many broad themes. Underline for me why we do need something like the Creative Industries Federation to pull together these disparate elements. Thank you all for coming and do engage with us. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>